What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go over some technical analysis on AMC, um, uh, which you see for me here is what I like to call the summit of Mount Everest. Uh, that's not the actual technical term, but I just made it up and it sounds good. And what I'm looking for here, I don't even know. Um, but I'm going to draw a line here and here. And I'm going to cross my fingers that it bounces off my line and goes up. But if it doesn't, then it's probably going to go below this line right here. Maybe, though. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this isn't a perfect science. It's the stock market. And there's no way to predict it. Unless you're that guy, Stocktopus, who seems to have found a new way to know what the fuck is going to happen before it happens. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. Anyway, kiddos, do not be buying options, okay? I'll tell you right now, don't. Because we finally have some people in this community trying to educate you all. Trying to actually tell you guys, hey, stop being dum-dums. Stop wasting premium on options that are never going to hit. Um... And this is what they want right now. Like there, I think people have slowed down significantly on the purchasing of options. They are losing a lot of money now, especially with people switching to Fidelity and shit, rallying their orders around Citadel. And that's this is what they want. That's, that's what I told you they were going to do that. Maybe kick this shit up into 45-ish range, get people to buy fucking options, and then tank it, scare them make them sell them and then all of a sudden boom they pocketed millions of dollars in profit <laughs> but that's what they're doing now trying to make you guys think okay well it's gonna go low i'm not like i said i don't watch any of your favorite youtubers anymore um they waste my time i'm smarter than them well i've come to my own conclusion now that i'm smarter than them so there's no point in me actually watching them to hopefully learn something when they should actually be watching me in all honesty, but that's okay. Um, I am not buying options during the day. That's not when I buy them. And I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just letting you know my trading plan just uh, based off what I see. So during the day, I have no interest at all in trading options because I already know. We already know what they've been doing. They've been killing the options chain for one. And... This, yeah, the, everyone's going to be saying, oh, this is an uptrend, this is an uptrend, we're finally in the reversal, we're finally in the reversal, there's no fucking reversal, like, there, it's not a reversal, it's these guys running out of options, they spent the better part of 30 days almost, fucking this thing over, crushing it down, and eventually, th that comes to an end, they can't do it anymore, so they have to find a new avenue, to still return shares short another area, but they can't do it as much. So the price is going to have to start going up gradually. Um, that's inevitable. Like it, there was no way around that. That's probably where we're at now. But that does not mean that they cannot shove this shit back down into the 30s. Um, what they're doing, which is blatantly obvious to me, is trying to get people to give them more money. They're trying to get people to buy a bunch of options right now, and I don't think people are. I think people are finally sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen. Um, like, I'm, if I'm buying options now, it's at the end of the day, and it's only based on what I see. Like, like when I saw this shit coming, um, that's when I'll buy. You know, when I, when, if it's the end of the day and it's looking like this, 
coming down and all of a sudden it starts going a little green. I may spend a, a couple hundred dollars on some contracts or whatever that I don't mind waking up to and then being dead. <laughs> like, I don't mind. And if I'm lucky, I wake up and they're green and I can snatch some profits in that first hour when volatility is usually fucking crazy. Um, that, that's how I'm playing options right now. Very, very, very short term. And the only reason I do it at the end of the day like that is A, so I can avoid a day trade so that I don't have to like buy them here and then all of a sudden they're fucking blood red by the time the end of the day comes and there's nothing I can do. I have to wait till the next day anyway so that I don't get marked with a day trade. So for me, that's the safest route until I see a change, until I see a legitimate change in a uh, volume and everything like even now you see the volume slowed down like it's just slowing down starting to do a little bit of the choppy shit again here and there throughout the day it's not as fluid as it was about 30 minutes ago um you'll notice if you pay attention to it it's still got some fluidity to it but i'm starting to notice like little choppy moments again where it's like that It'll be a 97, and then a second later, it'll move down to 94, and then a second later, it'll move up to 4301 or whatever. Um, it's just, it's periodically, it's nowhere near as much as it was. It's not as blatant as it was. You actually have to be looking at the ticker and the price change nonstop, pretty much, to notice it, to notice the pattern that's like happening right there just happened right there while I was talking <laughs> just stalled for a second that's delaying the orders as much as they can and but anyway, overall like I said the volume has picked up significantly as far as the reflection of it in price action which is a good thing but it's nowhere near as much as I would like to see not even close um, these almost look like mere images of each other so I personally would not be surprised to see this fucking come up a little bit and then maybe come back down in this range somewhere here around midday and float around in that area where we have to just to, yeah, maybe touch down around 40, between 40 and 41. And they might push it down under 40. Um, we'll see. I don't know. But this is just me looking at a, a new pattern. Like, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for shit that if you, like, folded it um, symmetrically, would it, like, damn near line up with each other, even if you had to fold it diagonally. Either way, it's, it's a computer. It's an artificial intelligence program trying to figure us out, trying to figure out a new situation. That's what it's doing. So... We'll see what's happening. Um, just be careful, like I said, with options. Do not go gung-ho on them at all. Please, please, please heed my advice. Just watch it. You know, watch it. Pay attention to it. And you'll be able to see, you know. You could have seen this coming. If you're looking at this, looking at that, then you could have seen this was inevitable. This was going to happen. Um, you could have got in somewhere around here or even around here and made you know, a couple hundred bucks maybe. Um, that's how you got to play this shit right now. If you're trying to hold options with a short-term expiration, you're going to be a sad, sad puppy. And it typically, as far as the pattern's gone, I mean, that's how it usually is anyway in any given underlying is the first hour of the day is usually just riddled with volume and crazy volatility. And then the last, like, 20 minutes, definitely the last 10 minutes of the trading day are the exact same way. So those would be the places to really buy options. That's if you can afford a day trade, then, uh, yeah, the, definitely... The beginning of the day, if it's if it's following a trend where it looks like it was going to go up, again, only invest enough that you don't care if you lose it. You don't care if you wake up and it's fucking blood red. You've lost half of it and you sell it, whatever, wait for another opportunity. Other side of that coin is you wake up, it's nice and fat and green, and you get a couple hundred dollars of profit that you can just take and then let them have fun jerking off throughout the middle of the day and screwing everybody else's options over that aren't being smart about this play. 
So it's my advice from my own perspective is to just be careful with options. I personally am not trading them intraday. Just because I've watched for almost 30 days now, <laughs> the intraday trading just get demolished, just get absolutely killed. Like options just get slaughtered during that time frame. So once we see a different, an uptick in trend and volume and all that shit throughout the middle of the day, then yeah, we'll start talking about options again there. But I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope some of you are learning some things and I hope some of you are making some money. Um, even if it's just a couple bucks, guys, any profit is better than no profit and it's definitely better than a loss. So always remember that you never lose when you are selling green. Never. You just don't. That's always, always a win. So, all right, I'm going to watch a little bit more of this market. Um, yeah, I'm good. Got another class at like 12.15. Uh, well, a lecture or whatever. I should be giving the damn lectures of this class for real. It's crazy. All right, let me get out of here.